So there is another question here is from Tom McAlpine and he asked, you know, he says that it's very rare for me to lose positions in, in the UFC fights and also asks how to talk about uh, the concept of position over submission. And I'm going to put this question together with another question from Adalberto Silva that he asked how, I, how he does you don't lose the back position. So I'm going to mix both questions. And I think the first thing we got to understand is that Jiu-Jitsu, you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a martial art uh, based on first on control and then submission. It's, the submission is a consequence of the control. Sometimes you can get a submission uh, without control, like a, a wrist lock or foot lock, something like that. But mostly, most of the submissions come from control, control first. And plus, if you have a good control, you're always winning the fight. So if you learn how to do a good control, you're going to win the fight, even if you don't submit the guy. So let's talk about the back position. So, for instance, when I'm in the back, let's say I'm in the perfect position control and I'm going to some mata leão or some choke, and the guy starts to escape his hips and I start to lose my al hip alignment. So... Instead of keep trying to submit him and, and you know maybe lose the position, I'm gonna first think about realign my hips and then submit. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna I'm not gonna keep you know my eyes on the submission and, and looking for that if he make any mistakes. But my let's say that 80% of my, my goal when he's escaping is to recover my position and get a good control. And then, you know, I have 20% of my energy thinking about the submission. But I, I cannot, it's a very common mistake and you see in the UFC and, uh, you know, I made that, of course, maybe sometimes I make that. And it's, uh, people are looking for submission and they lose the position because they are so focused on the neck or something like that, that they don't realize that the hips are, are, are getting loose, the hooks are getting loose. So... What I training, and that's just something you gotta go to the academy and train is every time I'm losing the position, even if I, you know, getting a submission, if it's not really tight the submission, I'm gonna forget about that, come back all the way and restart. We, my coach, they always say, start again, start again. So you're gonna start again the position, you're gonna go to the back, go to the, you know, back of the guy not in the side or something like that. Back of the guy, start thinking about the hooks. If you have one hook already, think about the other one, or at least about aligning the hips, and then you go to the, the choke or something. And it's very common. when it, Once you start to get very, very skill, the, skilled on that, you, you, you start getting faster, quicker and quicker in going from control to submission. In one point, guys, you know, like the Phenom, Marcelo Garcia, they do at the same time, they transition into the back, they go to the submission. But that takes time. And if you see most of Marcelo's submissions, is first he will control and then he will submit. And some are in the transition. So if you want to win fights, you got to learn how to control first and then submit. It's like my, my former boxing coach, Dore, was to say, like, the knockout in boxing is a consequence. You don't look for the knockout. You look for positioning, for foot footwork, and and escape the the, the punches, and, and then you go to the the knockout is gonna happen. It's the same in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You're looking for winning, win the fight. You're looking for getting in position, pass a guard, sweep, and then the submission will appear. You don't get chasing like crazy. You know the submissions because if you got a good control and a good Jiu Jitsu. They will appear, okay?